firstly we're going to have a look at the kit that we're going to use to uh, repair threads. Um, start with the drill, tap, and we'll see the thread inserts that we have here and the tools. quick demo here you can see it just puts another thread uh, where a thread was okay so there's no big deal there um, you have the tools to complete the job now this whoops <laughs> excuse me now this uh, thread insert here they're, they're actually quite cheap um, and they're used in aluminium where strength is actually required okay you have a hanging bracket on here so these have got thread inserts in them and Land Rover know this Whereas um, where your water pump is, um, there's no thread insert here, so you get a second chance. And that's the good thing. So, getting my little uh, paint marker here, uh, so I remember which hole was damaged. We're going to put a thread insert here, and then we can pull the water pump up back onto it. I have here a uh, just a normal come and all garden depth gauge for tyre treads, and this is going to tell me how deep the holes are in the front cover. Reason for this is we don't want to drill all the way through the uh, timing case cover, we just need to um, put a thread in there, okay? So I'm looking at 19 millimeters depth on here, and this is approximate, it's not exact. So I'll be drilling to about um, 17 or 18 mil. Um, the rest are actually vary in, in depth. Uh, this one's about 17 as far as I'm aware and uh, the others are 19 right so I've got the drill here and I'm going to drill out this so I can then tap it you possibly won't have a pillar drill at home um, I do because I've got a workshop here uh, however that doesn't stop you from doing this job the the idea is that you need to drill um, and clean out the threads 90 degrees or right angles to the job all right to make this operation work so that you can screw a bolt in straight rather than on a, an obtuse angle um, you see the tape that I've put around the drill now this is a depth gauge so I've measured uh, 17 mil and then use the edge of the tape so I can uh, I know when to stop. Right. If you're using a hand drill, and the uh, same thing applies as using a pillar drill, is clamp your work down to something. That will leave your hands free, okay, and you can operate a lot safe, uh, safer than what you would if you had to put your knee on a piece. It's, uh, it's just practical safety and common sense. All right. I'm using goggles as well. As you'll see on the pillar drill, I'm also using um, things like the guard. Okay, um, this is a professional drill and it has a, an emergency stop on it. So basically, I'm going to drill this out now. And uh, what I've been advised by an engineer <coughs> when you're actually drilling aluminium is just uh, have a little bit of lubrication there, a little bit of oil, because aluminium is quite dry so you can end up tearing it um, rather than having a nice cut but always use a sharp drill always use a sharp drill uh, a little bit of lubrication goes a long way okay so we've uh, got to the depth stop as you can see and uh, that's one hole finished okay so there's a public service announcement coming up Always use eye protection whilst using a drill, it's common sense. I'm cleaning out the uh, swarf out of the holes with a, an airline and same applies, use a pair of goggles. Um, however, if you don't have compressed air, which most people don't in a garage, then you can always shake it out. Okay, yeah. Uh, so the tap we get supplied with this uh, kit, which is from VTech incidentally, uh, you can buy them on eBay. Okay, this is the correct one for the inserts, and uh, we're going to have to use a T-handle to screw this in. Uh, basically, you need something that's going to help you get this at right angles to the work. I've got an over-emphasized um, and rather large T-handle here, and this will show you that I'm at 90 degrees working. Um, you don't want to 
get the thread tapped at any other angle okay it's as important as drilling the hole at 90 degrees there are other tools available and uh, I'm using one here this one is not exactly excellent for tapping but rather better for driving stuff to clean out holes with now when you're tapping basically you turn possibly one turn forward and half to one turn back and uh, this gives the tap chance to cut in okay now I'll finish this okay you'll find that there will be swarf left over and uh, tipping this casing I'm going to show you the thread I've cut and you can see this the swarf down at the bottom there now get rid of that before you put your tap in uh, put your inserts in okay that's very important right so the insert is driven in with a driver and uh, supplied with a kit again you have a tang on this so it can be driven in to the ready tapped hole okay so you'll be wanting to screw this down just below the surface all right and then you can break the tang off some inserts you can turn backwards and snap the uh, the tang or the mandrel off but in this case it hasn't okay what I'm showing you here is actually the mandrel and the tool that's been supplied with this kit um, you give this a sharp whack and that will break that off so you've got a clean hole at the bottom there All right, otherwise you'll be left with that you don't want that left in there okay so it's a quick tap and that's clear all right now a problem that you have with these sometimes is that they will not screw in and uh, try as you might they will not go in and there's a reason for this basically I'll show you here that the tap of the thread hole isn't clean enough okay so you can see I'm running this through with my fingers it's easy enough to screw the uh, the tap in okay and then we'll be ready to um, screw this back in and the thread will be clean just like that you see easy we're looking at is getting it just below the surface okay and we're there another um, downside to uh, having to work in the vehicle is that you're going to be working in uh, close quarters and uh, working on older vehicles you'll find that some things are not right this one um, I thought I had two broken studs well it turned out that somebody had put silicon in there and not put the bolts back surprisingly it didn't leak but um, it's worthwhile cleaning out the threads and uh, this is M8 by 1.25 which is seems to be a standard metric thread size and I'm using a second tap here to uh, clean out my thread holes and I'll, I'll do that if I'm assembling uh, older vehicles okay um, that assists screwing bolts in uh, a lot easier okay I mean age you get corrosion dirt and all sorts and you can see the thread here is actually clean that's the original thread in aluminium alright so that's going to work for me sometimes if you have stuff in a bolt hole and you screw a bolt in that can actually make uh, make the component crack Now, looking after things like taps, all right, buy a bit of oiling and uh, store in the box it was provided in. Easy. Huh? I have uh, all sorts of taps and dies and um, stuff for drilling large holes. Um, I keep them in a drawer and at least they're not going to get damaged as I'm rummaging about in the drawer. So, there you go. Look after your tools.